And new tonight, Dream Week, known for creating an environment for discussion. It's also meant to promote equality, diversity, and tolerance. But one event is striking a chord with some in San Antonio tonight. Paul Rusesa Begina is known for saving hundreds of people, thousands of people, from genocide in Rwanda. He also made Alamo City his home and was a keynote speaker for Dream Week in 2020. His family says he was then kidnapped and jailed by the Rwandan government during a business trip. Since speaking at Dream Week, organizers have said they wanted to include the Rwandan community in a future event. Tonight's event included a current ambassador from Rwanda, a decision that surprised Rusesa Begina's son, but he says he wanted that event to continue tonight. I say let him speak because the more they speak, the better it is for us anyways. And also, this is a free country. Um, they should be allowed to say what they want, unlike them, uh, unlike this dictatorship that we're out, we've been fighting for a long time. We don't, we don't silence people that we disagree with, you know, we let them speak and, you know, we let them dig their own grave, so to speak. He says he went to ask the panel questions tonight. Organizers say this event presents the opportunity for dialogue and they've tackled controversial subjects and people in the past. In tonight's event, the Rwandan community in San Antonio apparently chose to invite the ambassador of Rwanda for the event. The Recessa Begina family has continued to fight to have their father freed from that Rwandan jail.